Hey there, JJ. My goodness, we had a great weekend of weather, didn't we? Oh, it was beautiful. Just beautiful, Michelle. And, Tell me and what the, you did this weekend. What did you do? Oh, oh, well, we went super early for a walk. Oh, wow. Like when the dew is still on the ground and everything ah. is like brand new in the morning. That's the best time. Oh, yeah. It was lovely. Nobody else was there. So Pastor Mike said, let's do a scavenger hunt. Oh, that's a great idea. So he, he said, JJ, I'm going to tell you a poem, and then you have to find what you're supposed to look for. A poem? Wow. That sounds like yeah. a good time. So we're walking along, and we're walking through. There's this great old railroad tunnel where we walk, and it's all stone. You've probably seen it. I and have. It, yeah, it's really cool. And, and all this stone just gets damp and lovely. So I really like it there. But he, he started to tell me a poem as we walked through. And he said, it's small and white and smells like honey. Small. It's not on the ground. I'm sorry, go ahead. It's small and white and smells like honey. Hmm. It's not on the ground. It's above you, buddy. Hmm. And I'm sitting there thinking, well, that's just stupid. You know, what would be above me? I, mean, I should be on the ground. I'm, so I'm smelling and I'm smelling and I'm smelling. And I said, I don't see anything. And then all of a sudden, we came out of the tunnel and wow, the smell of honey was everywhere. And I looked up and it was honeysuckle. Oh, I love that stuff, JJ. We have some of that in our neighborhood. Yeah. yeah, yeah. And it grows all over that bridge. I didn't know that. Mm, all yeah. over that tunnel. Yeah, it's really cool. So I said, well, that was great. Do another one. Do another one. And he said, okay, okay, okay. He said, there's a hole in the ground, but another in a tree. Find that hole and you'll see me. Wow. There's a hole in the ground and another in the tree. Find that hole and you'll see me. Yeah, so I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm looking. And all of a sudden, there was a little tree with a little hole. And a birdie stuck his head out. <laughs> oh, <laughs> this is the time of year for little baby birds, isn't it? Yes, yes. And mommy showed up and was feeding him some unfortunate worm or something. <laughs> <laughs> wow. Yeah. So, so I said, well, come on, do another one. Do another one. He said, well, I have to really think. I have to really think and really think. And then, it, then he said, okay, here we go. Ready? You can repeat after me, Michelle. Okay. It's been behind us the whole time. It's been behind us the whole time. Though you will rarely see it. Though you will rarely see it. And when you finally find this thing. And when you finally find this thing. You'll realize you could feel it. <laughs> you'll realize you can feel it. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and I'm looking, I'm looking, I'm like, this is stupid. I can't see anything back there. I mean, who's been following us? And, and then all of a sudden, when I was about to give up, Pastor Mike gives me a little tug. Do you know what he tugged on? He tugged your tail, didn't he? Yes, it was my tail. <laughs> <laughs> oh, JJ, that's so much fun. I love that. <laughs> yeah. yeah, well, I put together a game for you today that's a little bit like a scavenger hunt. Really? It's called, yeah, it's called I Spy. Do you want to play it? Yes, 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 yes. Okay. Let me open it up for you here. So what we have is a picture of all kinds of things, JJ. All mm -hmm. right? Mm -hmm. And I have hidden something on this page. Ooh. All right? So what I want you to look for and find for me okay. is a little teeny tiny angel. Oh. So I spy with my little eye an angel. Can you find it? Mm, oh my goodness. Well, well, I, I, I see like a, a, a dinosaur. Mm -hmm. He's not an angel. Probably eat me. Uh, <laughs> is, is that an eggplant? Yes, that is an eggplant. Oh, I love eggplant. Over <laughs> easy, please. <laughs> oh, let me see. Let me see. Okay. Uh, oh, oh. Hey, there's a froggy. <laughs> I ribbit, it. ribbit, yeah. Ribbit, ribbit, ribbit. Oh, and bunny slippers. Oh, they would fit on a little angel, but I don't think that's the little angel. Mm -mm. Uh, whoa, wait a minute, wait a minute. Next to the slippers and that cute rubber duck. Yes, there's our little angel. Ah. Let me show you. I 
see you. Yeah. There she is. Very good. So you want to do again? You want to play again? Oh, oh yes. Let's okay. do it again. So we are still looking for the angel. All right. Oh. Whoa, whoa, wait. And okay. And kids, I want you to try to find the angel before JJ does his time. So let's have a little contest, okay? So kids, start looking. JJ, start looking. Where's the angel? All right. I see some nanners. I love nanners. Uh, let me see. I see an apple. Oh, I'm getting hungry, Michelle. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Uh, I see a duck. I see. Wait a minute. Is that a Rubik's cube? It is a Rubik's cube. I think someone's playing with it. <laughs> <laughs> do you well. see? Do you see our angel? Yes, she's playing with the Rubik's Cube. She's right next to it. There you go. Just wanted to be sure, JJ. Sometimes you're tricky. Yes, yes. All right. So here we go again. Number three. So kids. Close your eyes. Close your eyes, everybody. Find it before JJ. All right. Go. Mm, uh, la, 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 la. I see it. You do? Where is it, JJ? She's about to use lemons to make lemonade. <laughs> Lemons, there we go. Very good. All yes, right. Yes. So, one last time, kids, JJ contest. Where is right, close your eyes, guys? Close your eyes. Okay, go ahead. Where is it? All right. She is in the toilet paper. <laughs> she is not in the toilet paper. Still oh, I thought she was hiding in the tube. <laughs> <laughs> All right, let me see. Uh, let's see. Uh, oh. She's not by the butterflies. She's not by the ducky. Ooh, there's a guitar. Pastor Mike would like that. Uh, let me see. Let me see. Oh, 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 oh. I see her standing somewhere. It's above the apple. Above the apple. Right there she is. Good job, JJ. Very good. So I had an angel today because we are starting a new story series today. Ooh. Yeah, we are beginning the life of Jesus today. Oh. So we're going to be talking about the story of Jesus. And of course, the story of Jesus starts with a very special woman named Mary. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. So Mary and Joseph were going to be married and they loved each other so much. Oh. But one day, Mary was cleaning the house and working around the house. And all of a sudden, an angel appeared to her, the angel Gabriel. Yeah. She was very afraid because it was scary. She'd never seen an angel. But yeah. Gabriel said, don't be afraid, Mary. You are very special to God. You will become pregnant and you will give birth to a son and you must name him Jesus. He will be called the son of the most high God. Oh. Well, JJ, what do you think Mary thought of that? I, I bet she thought that was a little scary. Well, uh, yeah, because Mary said, well, angel, I'm not even married. I can't be pregnant. Oh. Yeah, and the angel said something very important to her. What was that? The angel said, with God, all things are possible. Wow. Yes, and Mary loved God, and Mary believed that God would take care of her. And you know what? God did. And wow. this angel, Angel Gabriel, also went to talk to Joseph, JJ, to right. make sure that Joseph knew that this was going to be a very important son named Jesus and the Son of God. And that is how the story of Jesus began. That's, that's amazing. Yeah, it really is. It's a beautiful story. Yeah, yeah. I, I wish I could see an angel sometime and get a message from God. <laughs> yeah, I know, JJ. I know. You know, we might not see angels in our life like Mary did that day, but there are always people and things around us that are sending us God's messages, JJ. Mm -hmm. We don't have to see an angel to get God's message. It can be through people in our lives. The Holy Spirit works through all kinds of people and things to give us God's message. That's really cool. Hey, yeah. hey, I got an idea. What's that? For our challenge today, why don't we have the kids look for a message from God? Oh, wow. That's a really good challenge. Oh, wow. So kids, you need to be on the lookout for a message from God. Now remember, it could come from your mom, your dad, your brother, your sister. It could come from something you read or something you see. So be looking and be listening for a message from God. Very cool. I like that. All right. Well, JJ, you get out there and you be looking and listening and smelling for that message of God, okay? I am on it. 
Thank you so much for the game. Oh, you're welcome, JJ. Thank you for your fun scavenger hunt story. I loved it. You bet. All, All right. right. We'll see you later. Bye. Guys, bye-bye. <laughs>